guys, what's up? Uh, I'm giving you guys another update video. Uh, recently, I've been having problems with my Jeep, um, but I finally forgot the issue. So, if any of you Jeep owners out there, watch out for this. Um, I'll do a zoom up in this after I talk about this. So, basically, I would be driving and it would die, and then it started up again, and then it would die. And I thought it was a fuel pump, but I could hear it priming, and I just put a new fuel pump in about a little over a year ago. Um, I did some research online, um, stuff that can mess up with your idling is your idle air control valve, which I actually replaced before this issue happened. Um, your throttle position sensor, which is over here. And then also your crankshaft position sensor, but luckily I didn't need to replace that because that would have been a pain in the ass to do. Uh, yeah, it was my throttle position sensor. Car's running fine. I'm doing oil change and I thought, you know, let you guys know what's going on and just show you what I'm doing with the car for now. So I might even add some bass at the end. I'm running three woofers for now. Um, hopefully I'm going to fix my woofer tomorrow with Chris. Um, if time pans out correctly. Um, but yeah, so um, I'll give you guys a close up and show you what I'm working with. All right, so I'll show you what I'm working with. Um, soon I'm gonna replace this valve cover gasket because as you can tell, it's, it's pretty gross. It's leaking oil and shit. It's not a lot, but. So basically, this guy, turn the brightness up. This guy right here piece of shit right here. Um, I had to replace that. Uh, one of the screws one of the screws almost got stripped but luckily I was able to get that fixed and then the throttle or the crank shaft position sensor it's down. It's like see this wire let me try and focus. See this wire right here. Well that goes down into there and then yeah that just that'd be really shitty. But yeah got that fixed. Jeep's running fine. About the change of the oil Got some Napa 5W30. You know it's certified, certified stuff. So um, should be good. And there's a gold filter. I mean, it's just a Jeep. You know, I don't need to put super premium oil. So it's just 5W30 will get the job done. So uh, got my 5 let's get to it. Uh, socket. Seems to fit pretty well. And let's try and pull the plug off. There we go. Yeah, the key is uh, run your car and then let it sit for about 10 15 minutes. And then you should be good to go. And I am a little low on oil, so you probably you guys probably won't see too much. And I try to get a good camera shot, but I don't I don't have a low enough tripod and I don't feel comfortable laying my nice camera on the grass. But um Yeah. Get that taken care of. And luckily with this car is the washer that I have for it. It has a rubber gasket on it. I don't know if that's in focus or not, but I don't have to use a crush washer every time, which is really nice. I'm probably gonna let that uh, drain for a while and then once that's done draining, I'll pop the uh, pull off the um, oil filter and put that back on. Some people do it every other time, but personally, I like to do it every time. So never hurts. Let that drain for a bit, and then I'll show you guys pull off the oil filter. All right, so it's been about half an hour just let the pan drain pretty well I'm gonna clean off the bolt and put it back on you don't want to put it back on like super tight because you don't want to get it stuck because then you have other stuff to do that sucks try and get it back off okay clean that off a little bit
you just want to put it tight. You don't want to try and super tighten it down because then you have, you have problems. And now, move the camera for the oil filter, which is probably going to make a mess. But they've got them on that real dry boy. Leave it on too long because so nothing's going on. I just had to get a good grip, but finally got it going. I got the oil pan in a good area. So, let's see here. Here's the old guy, and then the new one, what you want to do is um, put just a little bit of oil on the gasket just so it seals good. So I don't know if I'm in focus, my hands are dirty. Alright, right there. So you're going to take just a little bit of oil off of here and just kind of go around the rim like that. So, I'll go in there and put the new one on, so. All right. So next, get the oil. And my cap's right here, which is nice, so I don't really need to use a, a nozzle, but they're, 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 they're pretty helpful, though. So, this might be out of focus, the Napa 5W30. This engine is four liter, takes six quarts, so it's a nice even number. Not like my Subaru, which was kind of annoying. It was four. It was four point two. So. Gonna check the oil, the oil level. Pull this out. Wipe it down. All right. Let's see where we're at. Perfect. Right on. Safe. So that's where you want to be. Don't want to overfill it because that's how I did with my Subaru. And that's why the Subaru got all messed up. It's an idiot, and I didn't let my car sit long enough, and I thought there was no oil in it, and overfilled it, and fucked up the gaskets, and that's why that thing would smoke all the time. So if you guys remember my really old video where my car was smoking and everything, that was why. It was an idiot move, but it was back in my early days of driving, so it's good to go. And back now, I'll play some you bass. Guys what I'm working with for now. Um, Go ahead and laugh, uh, but um, I didn't have much material laying around, so I just had some shitty particle board. Uh, not particle board, but uh, whatever that type of wood is, just laying around. And I uh, just jigsaw and just jerry rigged it up for now. But um, play you guys some quick bass for you. So. so let's see if we can't get some flex going. I'm going to use uh, Augusta Downtown. I know some of you guys are probably tired of that song, but I haven't played it enough to the point of it being like Young Jeezy put on, so I won't turn it up all the way because um, I have one less woofer, a little bit less uh, 
cone control. So um, I'll turn it up probably like three quarters. So. dying on the yeah stay uh yeah stay tuned for more videos and um i'll have more stuff for slamology and autorama and lowdown it's just i got a lot of stuff going on and then i will uh do a quick video of my little editing station in my new place which is really nice and the internet's awesome so i don't have to ever worry about uploading videos ever again um so yeah just uh keep on the lookout for stuff and just uh if you want to Follow me on my other social media stuff, uh, you know, Instagram, um, my Facebook uh, site, and uh, yep, that's about it. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.